Day 21. Loving Yourself Now Through mirror work, you discover that you are perfect just as you are and that loving yourself can heal every problem. Congratulations, dear ones. This is the last day of your 21-day adventure in mirror work. It has brought you closer to discovering one of the biggest treasures of your life, the gift of loving yourself. This was not an easy journey, I know. There were a few bumps and stumbling blocks along the way, but you stuck with it. I am so very proud of you. Throughout this journey, you have used your mirror work to help you examine your self-talk, quiet your inner critic, forgive those who have hurt you, let go of past fears, and release old beliefs and negative thought patterns. In doing so, you have opened a storehouse of treasure within you. My wish for you is to always remember that there is one thing that heals every problem, and that is to love yourself. When you start to love yourself more each day, it's amazing how your life will get better. You will feel better. You will get the job you want. You will have the money you need. Your relationships will improve, and the negative ones will dissolve, and new ones will appear. Although you have completed this course, your mirror work has only just begun. It is something for you to practice every day. You will most likely encounter more bumps and even a few detours as you continue the journey. But you will be ready. You will be able to pick yourself up, look into the mirror, and remind yourself that you are worth loving. You are perfect just as you are. You deserve all the goodies in life. You are a magnet for miracles. Carry your mirror with you. Keep reminding the beautiful person looking back at you that you love this person with all your heart. Let's affirm, when I express love toward myself and everyone I meet, that love comes right back to me. In my afterword, I will leave you a list of 12 ways you can love yourself now. Let them serve as reminders of the good work you have done over the past three weeks. And remember, I love you. Your Day 21 Mirror Play Exercise 1. Go to the mirror and look at the beautiful person looking back at you. Raise your arms and give yourself a big cheer for finishing this course. Say these affirmations. I love you, darling. I really love you. You did it. You completed this course. I am so proud of you. You can do anything you set your mind to. 2. Take time to express your gratitude for all the work you have done. Say these affirmations. Thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for being open to learning something new. I really love you. 3. Make a commitment to continue your mirror play. Say, I will see you tomorrow, gorgeous. We will discuss other areas that I'd like to change. I love you. You are worth loving. You deserve only the best. The Power is Within You, Your Day 21 Journaling Exercise 1. Review your journal from the beginning of this course. Go through each lesson and congratulate yourself for all the work you have done. 2. Write down the areas where you have progressed the most. Write down some of the problem areas where you could use more work. 3. Go back and repeat the lessons in which you feel you need more guidance from your mirror. 4. If you like, share your comments about this course on my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Louise L. Hay. 5. Now go play with your inner child. Your Heart Thought for Day 21 we are all part of the harmonious whole. Remember, you are part of a community of people all over the globe who are working to make this a better world. 
We have come together at this time because there is something we need to learn from one another. It is safe for us to work on loving ourselves so that we may benefit and grow from this experience. We choose to work together to create harmony in our relationships and in every area of our lives. Divine right action is guiding us every moment of the day. We say the right words at the right time and follow the right course of action at all times. Each person is part of the harmonious whole. There is a divine blending of energies as we work joyfully together, supporting and encouraging one another in ways that are fulfilling and productive. We are healthy, happy, loving, joyful, respectful, supportive, and at peace with ourselves and with one another. So be it, and so it is. Your Day 21 Meditation A World That Is Safe We've touched on many things in the past 21 days. We've talked about negative things and positive things. We've talked about fears and frustrations. Many of us still do not trust ourselves to take care of ourselves, and we feel lost and lonely. Yet we have been working on ourselves for some time and have noticed that our lives are changing. Lots of problems in the past aren't problems anymore. It doesn't change overnight, but if we are persistent and consistent, positive things do happen. So let's share the energy we have and the love we have with other people. Know that as we give from our hearts, we are also receiving from other hearts. Let's open our hearts so that we can take in everyone with love, support, and caring. Let's move that love to people in the street who have no homes and no place to go. Let's share our love with those who are angry, frightened, or in pain. Let's send love to the people who are in the process of leaving the planet and those who have already left. Let's share our love with everybody, whether they accept it or not. Let's hold the entire planet in our hearts, the animals, the vegetation, and all the people the people we are angry at or frustrated with, those who are not doing things our way, and those who are expressing so-called evil, let's take them into our hearts too, so that from a feeling of safety they can begin to recognize who they really are. See peace breaking out all over the planet. Know that you are contributing to that peace right now. Rejoice that you have the ability to do something positive to help. Acknowledge how wonderful you are. Know that it is the truth for you. And so it is. Afterward, I am so happy, dear reader, to have been able to share with you the practice of mirror work, which has been so valuable to me in my life. My hope is that you too will find mirror work valuable as a vehicle for positive growth and self-care. In closing, I would like to leave you with 12 ways you can love yourself now and always. Let them serve as reminders of what you have learned over the past three weeks and provide you with ongoing support for a joyous and fulfilling life. And always remember, I love you. 12 Ways You Can Love Yourself Now and Always 1. Stop all criticism. Criticism never changes a thing. Refuse to criticize yourself. Accept yourself exactly as you are. Everybody changes. When you criticize yourself, your changes are negative. When you approve of yourself, your changes are positive. 2. Forgive yourself. Let the past go. You did the best you could at the time with the understanding, awareness, and knowledge that you had. Now you are growing and changing, and you will live life differently. 
Three, don't scare yourself. Stop terrorizing yourself with your thoughts. It's a dreadful way to live. Find a mental image that gives you pleasure and immediately switch a scary thought to a pleasant thought. Four, be gentle and kind and patient. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself as you learn new ways of thinking. Treat yourself as you would treat anyone you really love. Five, be kind to your mind. Self hatred is hating your own thoughts. Don't hate yourself for having the thoughts. Gently change the thoughts to more life affirming ones. Six, praise yourself. Criticism breaks down your inner spirit. Praise builds it up. Praise yourself as much as you can. Tell yourself how well you are doing with every little thing. Seven, support yourself. Find ways to support yourself. Reach out to friends and allow them to help you. It is being strong to ask for help when you need it. Eight, be loving to your negatives. Acknowledge that you created them to fulfill a need. Now you are finding new positive ways to fulfill those needs. Lovingly release the old negative patterns. Nine, take care of your body. Learn about nutrition. What kind of fuel does your body need in order to have optimum energy and vitality? Learn about exercise. What kind of exercise do you enjoy? Cherish and revere the temple you live in. Ten, have fun. Remember the things that gave you joy as a child and incorporate them into your life now. Find a way to have fun with everything you do. Let yourself express the joy of living. Smile, laugh, rejoice, and the universe rejoices with you. Eleven, love yourself. Do it now. Don't wait until you get well, or lose weight, or get a new job, or find a new relationship. Begin loving yourself now, and do the best you can. Twelve, do your mirror work. Look into your eyes often. Express the growing sense of love you have for yourself. Forgive yourself while looking into the mirror. Talk to your parents while looking into the mirror. Forgive them too, at least once.